So, Marcus, how um how was practice today? How do you feel things are heading into the first exhibition game? I thought practice went well. Uh, we competed. Guys went back and forth. Um, you know, it's tough. You're, you're in like the dog dog days of camp, and um, for guys to come out with the energy that we did, I think it says a lot about this team. Um, but given that, uh, where are you all at? Getting ready to you know not play a game game, but to see somebody else. Right. No, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And, and for me personally, you know, it's it'll be fun just to get back out there, call plays, um, you know, feel game like situations again. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing some of these young guys go out there and make plays, and it'll be a great great opportunity for us. I don't know, that's hard to say. I leave that up to you guys. You guys can decide on those types of things. Um, you know, I'm really just trying to focus on one play at a time. You know, I, and I try not to dwell on things that happened previously, and I try not to get anxious or anything like that about, pre, that, about plays that are coming up. So, um, you know, Art talks about it a lot. If we can stay in the moment, um, we can gradually improve and get better. And I think for me, that's when I play my best. I was just wondering whether it was like, you know, like, oh, well, man, maybe getting more comfortable and getting more into say, like a play like that can tell you guys in some ways that it's just, uh, or if I'm making too much of this, it's a play. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think for us, it's, it's showing that you're in the second week of camp, the timing's getting down, the chemistry's getting down. Um, you know, I trust these guys. I think we've got a great group of young receivers. And um, it's fun because they're all competing. And when they're getting in the right spots and, and they're making plays, I think that, that really um, gets our offense going. Knowing you're going to start, how many snaps do you think you need in the preseason to get ready for this? I play as much as he lets me play. I just love playing ball. So, um, you know, whatever they decide, whatever the game plan is, uh, I'm going to go out there and just have fun playing. Is there, is there like a minimum number of possessions or whatever that you'd like to play with? Not necessarily. Um, I don't have I don't have a pitch count, snap count, any of that. I really just I'm just more excited just to get out there and play. It would be. Uh, it seems like the team's been doing a lot of situational stuff here this week, kind of getting ready for the game. How do you feel like the team is prepared on that front, just to, you know, get through some of those situations? Well, I think the coaching staff does a great job of explaining situations, uh, especially for a lot of these young guys. We are a young team. Um, there are different situations that come up instead of like what's going on in college. So. Uh, for our young guys to understand so that when those things do come up, they're comfortable in those situations, I think is key. And do, they do a great job of explaining those things for us. When it comes to the rotation of Matt Hennessy and Andrew Dolman, for you, kind of how do you see that playing out? And is there a time period where you're like, I would like a decision at some point? Or are you just kind of like, you know, whoever wins, wins? Yeah, I, I think I'm more along the lines of that. Um, and a credit to them because, you know, it seems pretty seamless. Um, you know, I've been in situations, I've been in places where when you're rotating centers, it's tough. But these guys have done a great job. They're communicating well with everybody. Um, the exchanges have been great. So um, I, I think ultimately that that is going to play itself out well, and I think it really helps that entire room. Arthur was talking about wanting to see those two guys have a command of the offense. Is that something that you actively see from them, even though they are switching in and out as much as they are? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And I think because they are switching in and out, they have to communicate. They have to set kind of a standard. Um, so I, I think really for both guys, they've done a great job in that sense. Um, and I, I like the relationship. You know, the, the quarterback center exchange is such a pivotal part of the offense. Um, but both guys are great at it, and they really seamless in, in the rotation. Mark, how much communication you have with back tight ends, receivers in practice? Is it constant, or is it like, you know, if something goes wrong? Like how much communication do you have with those guys throughout the week? You know, I really, I really believe in trying to, like, if things go wrong, you got to kind of snap it real quick. You know, you got to go up there, you got to communicate, be able to, to talk through certain situations, talk through the scenario, what happened, what you saw, what we can get better at. So um, I really believe in kind of constant communication. Um, and at the same time, you know what? I think it's just, it's a little bit of encouragement as well. I think sometimes guys get a little down for not getting the ball. Um, you know, I think they understand that it is a competition, but. If you put out great routes and you go out there and you play and you practice hard, um, you know, that's all that we're asking from you. As you all go through camp and we see the situations, um, you know, how are you all forming the identity of what the offense is going to be and what do you all like to show? Uh, you know, you know you don't want to show everything Friday. What do you all want to come out and say, hey, we can, this is what we do. This is what we're about on the offense. Well, it comes down to just focusing on taking care of the business one play at a time. Um, 
you know, I, I think we're going to be very versatile and do a lot of different things. Um, and that's going to gonna play to our advantage. And when we're, when, we're getting out, when we're out there and we're all communicating, everybody's on the same page, guys are lining up in the right spots, ending up in the right spots, uh, I'm putting the ball where it's supposed to be. I think this offense can hunt. All right, so this kind of goes off the answer you just gave. What defines success for you on Friday? Is it you know, points? Is it a, a win during the time you're out there? Or is it kind of like what you were just talking about? No, I don't, I'm not so focused on the results. You know, I really just want to try to get better as a, as a unit. Um, you know, like I've been saying constantly, this is a young team. It's a young offense. And um, for us as vets, we try to help these young guys come along so that when we roll the, roll the ball out for the first game of the season, you know, these guys are ready to go. So I'm not driven on scoring or, you know, first downs or however that may be. I, I really just want to go out there and play, execute it one play at a time, and uh, let the results just kind of happen for themselves. Are there tangible things that you'll be able to point to to say, okay, we're seeing it on Friday? I mean, is it mental errors or avoiding penalties? Like, are there tangible things you'll be able to point to? No doubt. I think just taking care of things that you can control, right? Um, you know, taking care of the ball. Um, taking care of pre-snap penalties, um, you know, mental errors, missed assignments, those types of things. So, uh, especially when you get in these game situations, um, you know, guys get excited, guys get juiced. Just being able to control your emotions, and um, you know, if we're able to do that, I think we'll be just fine. In that same vein, how much is Arthur talking to y'all about wanting to see like clean football? He talked about no, the lack of mental errors and pre-snap penalties and all that. How much is that a talking point for you? Yeah, I think it's very important. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're not going to beat yourself, you give, your opportunity, you give yourself an opportunity to go win games. Um, you know, I think some of the better teams in this league, um, you know, they let teams beat themselves. And um, if we can focus on taking care of the things that we can control, we'll make the plays. We got the talent. We got guys that can do that. So, um, like you said, just a clean game, execution good, and, um, you know, everyone comes out healthy. You mentioned the timing and chemistry. Um, where do you think your time and the chemistry is at with, with Kyle Pitts going into this game? That's great. And he makes it easy, man. Um, you know, it, it's fun throwing to a guy like that. Um, you don't have to be perfect. You just got to give him an opportunity to catch the ball. And when you, when you do that and he can go, and, go out and make plays, um, he makes the entire offense look really good. And where is Drake at? You know, he looked great uh, before the pads come on. Has he been able to continue that during the padded practices? Yes, I think so. Um, and I think when you go against a guy like AJ day in and day out, it's going to make you that much better. So um, I'm excited for Drake. I think he's come a long way. He's going to continue to improve. And, um, you know, he'll be a pitiful part of this offense. Speaking of golf, did you see uh, – or speaking of Kyle, did you see his golf? Uh, I, heard, I heard about it. I didn't, I didn't watch it just yet. Um, I know you're a big golf guy too. So, like, I'm waiting for the, the duo. Oh, the I don't, it happens all the time. We play a bunch. So, um, yeah. We'll make sure that happens so that I can get a little bit of bargain rights because he thinks he's maybe a little better than he is. Well, first of all, thank you for the plug. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, my Motivate Foundation um, has been in existence now for about seven years. Um, you know, we do a lot of work, and one of the things we really like to do is back-to-school backpacks. Um, we've done it in Nashville. Uh, we did it in Vegas, and uh, this time we did it here in Atlanta. And really just comes down to just providing resources. I know it's tough. Um, you know, coming out of COVID and all that, you know, some of these kids don't even get an opportunity to get backpacks. So to be able to put a, a backpack together, whether it's, you know, school supplies, you get notebooks, you get pens, you get pencils, um, so that they don't have to worry about those types of things. Um, so... We're very happy we were able to do that. Um, it's something that we try to constantly do year in and year out. And um, you know, proud of what this foundation has done. And I'm excited to see what it continues in the future. Called me for like workouts and stuff. And then the Falcons called me. They said they wanted to sign me. So I was, I was happy. My wife was happy. My family was happy. Um, but I was also focused up because I knew it was ready to get to work. I know that they were already 10 days in, 10, I think 10, 11 days in. Mm -hmm. So I was going to come. And I had, to, I had to pick up from behind the eight ball, you know? You said you've been flashing the uh, last couple of days. How do you maintain that? On their radar. Uh, stacking days up. Um, my, my first coach coming out um, in Chicago Bears, uh, uh, Jay Rogers used to say, you stack days. You do, you do two good things one day. The next day you might not do nothing, but the next day you have to come out and do something, show your face, get a sack, get a tackle, play good technique, have good hands, 
and being consistent. That's the, big, the biggest thing I learned coming from college and, and coming through the league to each team is consistency. And what should we know about your journey? Um, that's not on your wiki page. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> reference coming from Buck Neal. Uh not, not on my wiki page. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, I'm, I'm a married man. I love my wife. Um, I got a great support system. And like I said, uh, being around a, a lot of players, I was telling young man right here, um, I, I'm trying to be a mentor to these young guys because I was an undrafted guy. Mm -hmm. um, and trying to give them advice about how to be undrafted, how to walk into the building, how to how to do extra work after practice mm -hmm. and how to present yourself to, to make this team. What is that advice? How do you kind of walk into this situation? Everyone's kind of comfortable, you know, mm -hmm. three weeks in or whatever. So like, like the biggest thing, like the young guys are asking me about like, the, no problem. The young guys are asking me about like, you know, how do you, how do you know uh, if you're on this position on the depth chart? How do you know, you know, if you're doing good, I'm like, look, if you worry too much and all of a sudden you're gonna start messing up, focus on you, watch as much film as possible and every day, do something better. So if yesterday your foot was, footwork wasn't good, next day you need to perfect that. And then maybe that day your hands weren't good. Okay, next day perfect that. Every day you find little something a little small and every day you stack up days and make a play every single day. That's the biggest thing you can do. And, and you know, all the outside stuff, dealing with family, dealing with friends, this is the time to lock in. We're, we're trying to win a Super Bowl. Sometimes you gotta put that phone on, do not disturb, and <laughs> tell your wife, tell your girlfriend, hey, I'm focused up, I need to watch film, I need to do all this stuff. So kind of mentor stuff like that, you know, and get them ready for, because the NFL is for big leagues. So you gotta come out here ready, especially if you're gonna be a young guy playing in this league. What's kind of your approach, you know, as someone who's coming from the outside, I feel like you have an interesting perspective on where this team is at right now, mm -hmm. but what do you kind of see coming into it? I see a camaraderie. Um, so my first year uh, on the Chicago Bears, when we had that great run, 2018 run, um, I feel that same energy here, um, that, that, that big, big brother, little brother relationship throughout the D-line room, having Grady being the leader, um, kind of looking, at, looking to see what he does. He's giving us advice and all around team and also the coach being a great leader and giving us great advice, making sure we're on top of our, our stuff, on top of our film, on top of our playmaking. When we make a stick, he gets on us. When we're, um, when we're doing good, he praises us. I think that's a good combination, you know. Do you feel comfortable going in that first preseason game because you are kind of like coming in, you know, later into training camp? Oh yeah, I, I, and all that yeah, kind of I feel, I feel, com I feel comfortable. I, I'm a, I'm a bookworm. So first, you should have saw me first day when I was, they got signed. I was like, you got a playbook? They're like, yeah. So I was in the playbook all night before that first day. I went out and we had that uh, walkthrough day. So I'm gonna feel comfortable and I'm gonna go out there, let it rip, and do what I do. So you got the guy in the meeting room now that's like, oh, actually, you know, I saw this, and they're like, yep. hey, you just got here. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm asking <laughs> questions. I'm, I'm, I'm checking, I'm checking everything, and I'm staying on top of my game because, like I said, I'm, I'm coming behind eight ball. These guys been out here for 10 more, uh, 11 more days than me, and they're out here doing great. I see, I see some great things out here from the young guys and from the old guys. So it's a lot of competition in the room, and all I could do is do my best and, and try to compete with them. So, um, you know, week three or whatever it is of training camp, I mean, how have things changed now that you guys are in the prep for a game week here? Um, I mean, not so much. I feel like we kind of jumped into it uh, from week one. We were kind of rolling and kind of on the game plan kind of style. So I think it really hasn't changed much. Now the more focus is on Detroit and kind of focusing on them and their defense and kind of game planning for them. So, do you, do you approach the preseason with like, okay, I'm trying to get this out of this or I'm trying to show this? Um, I think I, I approach it the same way I approach any game, you know, I'm going out there to play, uh, you know, just work on my technique and kind of, you know, sharpen the, sharpen the skills a little bit before it's actual live action and the record counts, you know, so I think that's what it's used for. We were just talking to Drew about how communication he feels like is better than this time last year with the offensive line. Where do you feel like that's at? Uh, I think it's better. Um, it's kind of difficult. We're, we're rotating centers and, you know, they're kind of the ones who set the table and, you know, let us know where we're going, but, uh, you know, it's been pretty pretty even on both sides of it and I think we've been doing a good job uh, staying on the same page. It's funny you mentioned the, the rotating centers because he was talking about how it's not really a big deal for him to come in and out but as yeah. someone who's like you said listening to them and trying to come from uh -huh. them how hard is that knowing? It, it's a little different um, both of them have their own different style of play uh, but you know the calls are the calls they both make them um, so you know you just got to listen up focus in 
and uh, you know pay attention to who's in there and listen to what they're saying. In that same vein, when you know in the preseason, especially if they're kind of rotating people to see what what maybe the best combination of people is, is uh -huh. it hard to kind of all right, I gotta adjust this because this person's next to me or? Something? No, I think I think I just I mean me I I just play it how I normally would. Um, you know, it, it's not really adjusting for anybody differently. Um, everybody knows the technique, and we're all playing and trying to be on the same page. So I don't think I have to adjust different for anybody. How do you feel like you know your progress has happened through training camp at this point? I mean, you're you're obviously vying for that spot. How do you feel like you're you're doing in that battle? Um, you know, I don't know how I'm doing, <laughs> but uh, you know, I just come to work every day. Uh, I've just been trying to get better every day. Work on something every single day to try and get better at. Um, to try and keep going in an upward fashion. You know, um, I think that's kind of been what I've been focusing on. Is this the point at camp where you're kind of turning a page? Like, all right, we're like really in camp now. It's like that initial s excitement has kind of faded and now you're <laughs> like that initial like energy burst is gone and now yeah. you're like, all right now we got to dig deep and really figure this out yeah uh the, the initial burst is gone is gone you know everybody's <laughs> trying to get their bodies back you know ever since from the first day of training camp until now you know your body is never going to feel the same as it did you know coming from the spring to now so you just got to get used to it you know keep up with your treatment um and just stay focused and y usually you know when you're a pro you get you have a plan you know you have a process of how you get ready for each day how you cool down from each day um, you know, and that kind of gets you in the swing of things and, you know, gets you ready for that week to week, you know, action. What's it been like with Marcus and Desmond? I know it's, you know, getting used to two different styles or maybe they're pretty similar, but just a different one from before, right? Yeah, definitely a different style than I'm used to. Um, but, you know, Marcus has been great, you know, keeping us all, all on the same page and the snap counts have been great. And uh, I think it's just been good to have like a veteran presence, you know, in there for us so I think that's been great Ritter has also been great too um, you know young guy it, it takes a minute you know when, when you're a rookie you gotta gotta get you gotta take your woes you know that that's how it happens and you know you just gotta work through them and get better from them you know so and I think he's doing that last one I've got um, just the environment that they have here at training camp it's like you know all the families and everything uh -huh. there was the the video that they posted of you with your daughter the other day. how cool is it to kind of share that with your family um, it's cool I mean uh, a lot of my family is in Philadelphia uh, and Florida, so not really too close. So, you know, my wife and my daughter, they come every day or most days. And, you know, it's cool It's cool because, like, I don't get to go home most most of the time until when she's sleeping. So when she sees me, she's like, oh, da, 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 you know, so she's so excited. So I think that's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool to see. I like the, how they involve the family in it. Do you ever, like, look over and see her, like, during practice or anything and be like? No, I <laughs> We're, there's so much going on, yeah. and we're, we're all into it. So I, yeah. I can't even. There's so many people over here. I can't even find them. Like <laughs> yeah. through everybody. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever see her, like, oh, that makes me. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go harder on this rep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta go hard, everyone. Yeah. You gotta go hard, yeah. everyone. That's yeah. for sure. But coming off the practice, especially when it's like hot. And oh it's, yeah, like, it's so definitely. Tired. It's a breath of fresh air. Like a long practice, would say two hours, fifteen minutes, or whatever, and hot day. You know, you're coming over and you see her. You're like, oh, okay. Let me, let me take my pads off and get some water, like, you know. So I, I think it's a breath of fresh air. So uh, I think we talked to you last week. I mean, how has everything kind of been ramping up in the last week or so now that you're kind of in that next chapter of training camp? Like, all right, we're in the grind. We're getting comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been good. Um, I mean, operationally, it's been a lot, a lot more of the same. Introducing a little bit of stuff for, uh, for Detroit, but really, like, kind of same old from a player perspective. Show up, we're practicing hard, doing the same things, getting better, so. We talked to Jalen and Trey. He talked about how communication is much better, he feels like, just so far compared to this point last year. Do you feel like that's been a big thing for you guys? Um, yeah, I think, uh, I mean, especially because we were both rookies last year, like there's, there's a lot of things flying in and out. Uh, so I think this year for both of us, it's, it's much nicer. We're more comfortable, so like that communication comes a little easier. So I think that's definitely a big factor. I know that's a big thing for you. I mean, last time we talked to you, you talked about how that's a big part of, you know, where you want to be at is being a clear communicator at that center of the line. I mean, is that something that you've also been really trying to work on? Yeah, definitely. And uh, just like learning from the other guys, like learn from Hennessy, Jake, guys that have played a lot of snaps, just like the things that are really important that you got to get out before the ball snaps. So that's, uh, they've been incredibly helpful. And then obviously the coaches as well have been really clear with what needs to get said. And so it's kind of about just doing it. How much different is this week now that you're kind of preparing for a game week and an actual opponent in a couple of days? Um, not too different. I mean, we're, we're focusing a little bit. I think nothing, uh, I don't know. For, like, we're still doing team the same. We're still practicing the same. So it's not, not too different.
is it exciting though to know, hey, we're going up against a different color jersey yeah, on Friday? It definitely is, yeah. I think psychologically it's fun to have a little carrot at the end of it so you can kind of chase. And uh, I think everybody on the team is excited as well just to get back out there and play. What's your approach for the preseason? I mean, you'll probably play a bit. And what are you trying to get out of the preseason? Anything that you're trying to work on specifically? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, like, personal, like, technical things that I've been um, kind of working on all training camp. Um, but, yeah, just, like, get out there in a real game setting, operate as an O-line unit efficiently, communicate clearly, all that kind of stuff. So just, like, begin to check the boxes on what we need to, to do each week and um, kind of just uh, almost like a dry run for, for all that stuff. So. Do you feel like there's going to be a little bit of mixing and matching, kind of seeing in a game situation who's going to gel the best, what situation might be the best? With, as far as personnel on the line? Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I have no idea. We're, I think <laughs> we're all just going to like be ready to go, play, play as much as we're going to, and kind of just uh, let, it, let them decide how all that stuff works. Is it hard, though, when you're in a game and they're kind of rotating people to see you know, maybe who's going to be the best fit? Is that hard to be like, all right, now i got to adjust to this or this person? Um, I don't know. I, everybody's like, a little different to play next to, but we all train with the same philosophy. We know the plays the same. We've got the same coaches. so. Like the goals are still the same, so you kind of expect the same from each player. So it's not a, not, not a big deal.